Hey everybody, today I am going to show you guys how to download and get started with the Lightroom app on your phone or your Chromebook. I'm going to show you on my phone though. So first let me open this. So if you have an iPhone like me, you're going to go to the App Store and you're just going to type in Lightroom and it should come up with the Adobe Lightroom Photo app. If you have an Android phone, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. You guys all know how to download apps. So once you have the app on your phone, you'll open it up. And because I've already imported a couple of photos, it's not bringing me right to the import screen. But uh, when you guys open it up, it's gonna look a little different. So select some photos that you wanna use just to play around with. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you choose. It doesn't have to be a photo for your project. So once you've selected that, you can always go back in and add more photos. So I can click on this button and I can say, I wanna upload photos from my camera roll. So I've got like a lot of Inktober stuff. Um, I've got this pretty sunset. So maybe I'll select that and then I'm just gonna hit the check mark. And so then I can go into my photos and I can see what I have. So when you are ready to edit one of these photos, I'm just gonna click on it and it'll pop up with this nice edit bar down at the bottom. And let's move this down a little bit so you can see everything. So the ones that I want you guys to focus on are the crop tool and they all have the name of the button, at least on the iPhone, which is really nice. The uh, color, the effects, the presets, and then you're also going to want to use versions. So every time that you make an adjustment, you can actually save what you've done. So if we go into crop and we decide we want to crop out something from this, uh, we can do that adjustment. And then we can go all the way down here to versions and I can see here's the original before I did anything and here's what I've currently done and I can go to create version and then I want you guys to name each one of these so every time you make one of these adjustments I've asked you to make then go up and name it so we're gonna say this is called crop and um, that was just a regular crop so we just kind of free cropped it. And so I'll say free crop. And then I'm gonna hit create. So now I have this saved version of my photo and I can go back. And if I don't like what I did and I wanna get rid of this before I do the next uh, step or the next edit that I've asked you to do, I can just hit back. So it just undid what I did. So the ones that I want you to focus on for this coming week as we start to learn about these photo editing apps, the crop tool, because that's really useful. So you guys saw me actually just free crop something, uh, but you can also crop based on the aspect ratio. So this is, the aspect ratio is just how long something is to how wide it is. So just the length to the width. And that can be really useful if you know that you want an image to be like your Facebook banner and know exactly how long that is, like how the width and the length should compare to each other. So you can set those numbers in and see what this is gonna look like. So I could do three by two. I can really do whatever kind of aspect ratio I want. And we're gonna reject that just for now because I just want you guys to see this. I'll, I do want you to do that to one of your photos. The other tool that I use all the time is straighten. So if I took this photo and it wasn't really like straight on, I can change that is not straightening at all. I can rotate the photo and it puts a grid. And so that grid is really useful for showing if something's straight or not. So if I took a picture of like a mug on a table and like the edge of the table was tilted, I could straighten that table out and everything in the photo is going to straighten out. It's going to crop some off of the edges, but you'll have a nice straight photo. 
So that is really useful. And you guys already know how to use rotate. Those are really obvious. But I want you also to use either a flip horizontal or a flip vertical. So if I flip vertical, it's going to make it upside down. If I flip horizontal, it's actually going to flip it over. So it's like a mirror image. So we'll keep that one because it doesn't really matter. So the next menu that I want you to at least take a look at and just we're just going to use one uh, function under this menu is the color. So if you ever have taken a photo and it's like a really weird color like this one looks a little yellow and you can't see it because my uh, camera is changing the color so it looks kind of blue on the screen but when I'm looking at this photo in real life it looks kind of yellow. So I can change the temperature and I can make it so that it has like a really strong color cast. So now you can see it's kind of changing and becoming orange and it's hard to see things. So I can take out some of those weird colors or add weird colors in if I want to. Uh, so if you're doing something really funky, you know, you can definitely add colors in. Let's see if we can get a slightly better. Nope, not gonna give us a better photo. There is a little bit more going on in the bottom of this image that's getting lost because of the camera. So I want you to play around with temperature and see what that does to your image because it can be a great way to get that weird color cast out of a photo. Uh, and then we're gonna go into effects. You guys are probably familiar with some of these from Instagram. And the two that we're gonna use in our in-class exercise are texture. So we can add or take away texture. So if we take away texture, things start to look really smooth. And if we add texture, things start to look kind of really rough. So let's see, the surface of this souffle has gotten really smoothed out and it's gonna be easier to see when you do it on your own photo. And then the other one that I want you to use is vignette. We all know what a vignette is. We all know what a vignette does. That is not vignette, that is dehaze. Here we go. So I can put a vignette around this and I can actually change what that vignette looks like. So now it looks like a spotlight. Now it's very soft. So when you click vignette, you're gonna see that some of these little sliders open up below. And so I encourage you to play around with those sliders a little bit and see what you can do. Cause vignettes, I love vignettes. They're just a fun uh, effect to add on to the photos. And then finally, we are going to look at presets. And so remember, each time you do one of these changes that you want to keep, make sure that you save a version of that photo. So the presets are like what you would get on Instagram, like they're going to change how the photo looks overall. So I could change this to vivid, high contrast, matte. Uh, the changes are a little bit more obvious when you're actually seeing the photo in real life than you are on this camera. Okay guys, so once you have all of your versions saved, so you've done each one of these edits, you're gonna go to versions. I only have two here because I only saved two. So I have the um, free cropping one that I saved and then the original. And so for each one, you'll click on it and you'll select apply. So it's gonna bring up that version of your photo. And then you're gonna go up here to upload. And I would go to export to camera roll and then it's going to be in your camera roll and you can just upload to canvas all of the versions from your camera roll so i would go in here and i'd then apply my crop version i'd go through the list and apply each version and again go to export to camera roll and it should name the file you should be able to see everything as well and then you'll just upload from your camera roll uh, there's two buttons here the get a link and invite people you're not going to be able to use those because they're only in the paid version of the app. So you're going to have to either export this to your camera roll or export it to your files. And that's it.